Another example of the way that people talk to you when you are an actor but you're not famous. But I have a question for you, Chelsea. Why aren't you famous in your field? Well, I don't know what you do, but let's pretend that you're a boutique owner. There aren't many more boutique owners in the US than there are actors. But unlike an actor, a boutique owner is first, always employed because it's their business. Second, don't have to have a second job and work on their boutique on the side. And in general, just has way more control over their success than an actor. So why aren't you a famous boutique owner? If you're truly good at it, you'd stand out, right? And you might protest that you can't compete against big retailers like Kohl's or even smaller but chain retailers like Francesca's. But why can't you? Are your clothes subpar? Are you a bad business person? Or could it be that 99% of all boutiques will never be well known? And that's rarely the goal of the owner, they just want to open and run and be successful with their boutique. Do they have to be famous to do that? I live in New York City. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, out of every thousand actors in this city, do you know how many of us are working? 0.55, not even a whole number. And that means working at all, which involves a lot of jobs that you would not consider good enough for someone pursuing an acting career. That includes someone who has an under five on a TV show or someone who is a performer in an amusement park. And that's just in one state. I'm part of Actors' Equity, which is the theatrical union, which contains about 51,000 actors. However, not all actors are union. Not all actors want to be union. And you can still be a professional actor without being in the union. Now, of course, if an actor goes up for a part, they're not competing against all 51,000 people. But I know that for at least one part that I was cast in, I was cast over a couple thousand people. And that involved several auditions over multiple months. But let's say when we got to the final callbacks, one of my competitors was sick and they couldn't come. She didn't get cast, but was she a worse actor than me or was she just not there for the final audition? Mathematician Samuel Arbusman did his thing and he determined that in the English speaking world of actors who are currently working, 56 of them are famous. Not 5,600 or 56,000, 56, as in fewer than 60. And while I appreciate your belief in my talent, how could I possibly expect to be one of those 56? How could you expect that every single talented actor would eventually be one of those 56? Like you can't seriously believe that there are only 56 talented actors in the English speaking world. There were so many talented actors in my VFA program. Out of all the ones I knew in my four years in my program, only a handful of us are still acting and it's been a little over 11 years since I graduated. But just because those people are in different careers, uh, some teach theater, some are speech pathologists, and some have nothing to do with acting at all, that doesn't mean that they were not and are not talented actors. I think I'm the last one standing of my class when it comes to pursuing a professional career in acting. I am the only one left out of the class of 2012. And the taunt that Chelsea fires at me at the end of her comment, uh, the maybe a kid could teach you a thing or two, is talking about Everly LeBrant. Her parents run a family channel, they have been exploiting her since she was a toddler, and I think for her 10th birthday or something, I know that she's 10, they paid for her to have a professional music video made. Kind of like a Rebecca Black situation. But despite the music video being, you know, a song that she's supposed to be singing, Everly is not a singer. So how did a 10-year-old non-singer manage to get cast in a music video when a 10-year-old who sings extremely well, has been training for years, auditions all the time, didn't get cast in a music video? Because Everly's parents have money and influence, and people know who Everly is. Again, because she's been exploited for her entire life. Just like a lot of the famous actors that you can name are family members of some sort to someone else in Hollywood. Lily Collins is Phil Collins' daughter. Emma Roberts is Julia Roberts' niece. Lily Rose Depp is Johnny Depp's daughter. Maya Hawke is the daughter of Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman. And Willow and Jaden Smith are the children of Will Smith. However talented or not talented you think those people are, they might never have have been given the chance to do any professional performing at all if they had not had parents in the industry. And am I jealous of them? You bet I am. This past August marks 20 years since I have been seriously pursuing my acting career. But as the daughter of a door installer and a healthcare worker, I didn't exactly have a chance to get my foot in the door when I was young. My parents didn't know anything about acting, let alone have connections. I grew up in the sticks of Pennsylvania. If you wanted to start pursuing an acting career today, or if your kid wanted to start pursuing an acting career today, would you know where to start? 
I'm gonna guess not. Bottom line, you don't have to be one of the 56 famous actors to be talented. In your bio, you feature the quote, well-behaved women rarely make history. If you want me to make history and be famous so no one will make fun of me anymore, I need to do things a little differently than the Nepo babies did. Because if I were being well-behaved, I would have quit years ago. And then you would have taunted me for being a failed actor anyway, so I don't know what you want.